so. Chip asks her mother if he can have a popsicle, but he's not finished with his lunch yet. So she says, well, you have to finish your lunch and then you can have dessert. So he wolfs everything down. He brings his empty plate over to her. He says, well, can I have my dessert now? <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Can I have my dessert? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, that's our boy. Cruz. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. How far away was I? Pretty far away. Far enough away that a story about your pride and joy wouldn't even raise a hint of a smile on your face. Hmm. That's another one of my brilliant ploys didn't work. Where was that? The ploy where I get you out of the house and get a nice romantic dinner for two and keep an entertaining stream of mindless conversation going so you'll forget about your brother for a little while. Yeah, well, it's the thought that counts. I appreciate it. Thanks. Well, then you'll find Rick. Because that's all you've been able to think about lately. And that blonde woman with the wig. The, the woman who never was. Couldn't get a positive ID on her? You know, I took that police sketch with me to the blues office. I showed it around. Everybody agreed this could be the woman Rick was seen talking to, but nobody had a clue who she was or where she came from. And the gas station attendant, he couldn't make up his mind whether it looked just like her or not like her at all. So what do you got? Harlan Richards, Jack Sellers, Arthur Downing, Rick, a woman in a blonde wig. A lot of players. Too many players. Too many clues falling out of the sky at the same time. A cop could start to wonder at such good fortune, I'll tell you. Hey, guys. Uh, hey. Hi. Sorry to interrupt your evening. Okay, okay. What's up? There's a call for you, and take it over to the bar. Thanks. I'll hold a good thought. No news on Rick? Well, this might be it. 